Hi guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry. Today we're going to step outside the kitchen and I'm going to take you out for the first garden update, I guess you would say, for the year 2015. So we've got the gardens prepped and um, it's always a lot of work because we don't always clean up in the fall. You know, I know it would be easier if we did that, but I really like the plant matter to break down over the winter time if it can. and. Um, and then we just have one or two big days of work out there. And so we got all that done and it's ready for planting. Now, that being said, we had snow yesterday. <laughs> We've been having some cooler temperatures. I think today's high is only gonna be about 64. It's a little overcast and we have a chance of rain. But I thought, you know, I'm gonna take you out there anyways. And I'm getting ready to plant a lot of things. I've got some uh, blackberry bare root plants. I've got some more raspberry bare root. I'm so happy with what I got last year. And I'll show you the results of last year's. Um, I planted 10 bare root raspberries and they've turned into quite a few more. So the little shoots that are coming up from those original plants next year will bear fruit for me and we'll move them around to wherever we need so we have a nice berry patch. Um, I've got three triple crown blackberry uh, bushes that I'm gonna plant, and those are bare root as well. I feel like uh, you get a better plant off of a bare root stock when um, it just seems to be a stronger plant. I bought numerous one gallon potted or even two, three gallon potted berry plants, and. I've only had one really do well out of all of them and uh, so I just I'm a fan of those bare root plants and I'm also a big fan of uh, burpee uh, they I've never had a problem with anything in fact the other day when I got my order I uh, actually received 50 strawberry plants that did not belong to me and so I called them to make sure that they resent the plants to the person that was supposed to get them and they were just super nice and they said you can send the plants back or you can just keep them because they won't resell them or use them. So I did not have room for 50 strawberry plants so I gave some to my manicurist and some to my neighbor and um, so they're thrilled to have that. They're going to use it as ground cover and uh, strawberry plants make great ground cover. So. I'm going to take you outside, show you around, see what I've got going, and I've got some stuff in the front as well as what I've got going on in the back, and then maybe show you what plans we have for later on this summer. And I believe there's a greenhouse in my future by fall. All right, guys, come on outside. All right, so we're starting, I'm starting you out on the front porch. Now, I've got uh, in this pot here, this is a new pot, I've got some parsley. And that's a flat Italian parsley. And then I have this little uh, pixie grapevine. They don't get much bigger than two feet tall, apparently. So uh, we're going to see how that does this year. And I'm really concentrating on vegetables. So in this pot, I've got garlic. Um, I've got kale. I've got a red cabbage there. And then this is a grapevine as well. And that did come back from last year. I'm super excited. What I'd like to do is let it go up and over my front porch. I don't know that it's going to end up going up and over, but we're going to see. And then over here, I've got another pot with, once again, cabbage, red cabbage and kale, garlic. And I threw some Nevada lettuce seed in there. We're going to see. I see it's coming up. Um, you know, I'll thin that out and we'll see what we get. It's always fun. Okay, now I'm taking you Okay, out now we're out back. And here's the view of the garden from the patio that is off of our master bedroom. And this patio is pretty good size too. And these are these patios connect with the sidewalk. So we've got the garden in between, which is very nice. Um, so I've got barrels again out here and Lots of kale. The chickens eat the kale. Um, this one, I've got the curly kale. I've got one cabbage in the middle, some chives over there, and then I planted some green beans. So we'll see if they come up. Same in this barrel, almost identical. So um, hopefully the cabbage doesn't get the earwigs this year because the chickens got to eat the cabbage too. Okay, I'll take you over to 
where I've got, I need to mow. I just, it watered today, so I'm probably not going to mow. And because we have a puppy, Shotzi do, um, I've got to be really careful of what I do. <laughs> I'm going to put walls of water up, and I'm worried about her tearing them down. So in this little hanging planter, um, I have a pepper plant, and the birds decided they like jalapeno peppers, apparently, because <sighs> the leaves will come back. But they pecked it. And same with this one. They got a couple of the leaves off there. But uh, so now here's my older rhubarb plant. I've already picked off of this three times and I divided the plant and I left the leaves on even though they've died off. But that shows me where I put that rootstock. So you basically all you're doing is taking a shovel and dividing that rootstock and stick it in the ground. That's how rhubarb grows. Um, it just keeps dividing into a plant. And I've got brand new leaves in there, and it just makes the most fabulous pie and jam. I've got a pot there with uh, peppers. Got a little jalapeno on there. See that right there? Sorry if the wind's bugging you. And then some habanero plants. And they those pepper plants don't take that much room or that much soil. I've got a little uh, parsley in this hanging basket. And this is a solar light, so at night it looks like fireflies in there. Anyways, um, and a little bit of lettuce I threw in there to, you know, just cover it up. Hi, girls. Not girly girls. All right. And in this barrel, pretty much the same, cabbage and kale. I'm really wanting to supplement my chicken's diet with a lot of greens this year because they love it so much. And then we're going to come over here, and this is my... Um, herb barrel. I've always got herbs in here. The chives come back every year and they're just beautiful. And you can use those chive flowers in salads. They're delicious. So I've got, oh, I've got a weed in there. I've got some thyme. Uh, my sage came back. I've got rosemary, uh, oregano. And then back there, I've got green beans. Those have self-seeded um, from last year. And then we've got over here, we've got a little different bed this year. Our, we had, we've had such a drought that um, my uh, trumpet vines died. They did not get enough water over the winter, I guess, even though I watered trees. Um, so we're going to try to get those out of there and replant grapevines in here. We're going to build this up, though, so it's not as intriguing for the dogs. And there's my uh, rhubarb plant. We picked on that a couple times as well. And back there, you can see the all the vines that I had to cut off of there. Got to get that in the trailer for the mulch bin. And I've got over here, I have these little... <laughs> greenhouse cloach and I've got all my baby plants in there well not all of them but I'm going to water here in a second I've got starters coming up I've got kale or more kale <laughs> um, and in this side tomato plants so let's show you what I've got it's kind of hard to do one handed but there's some more tomato plants and actually, one's got a tomato on it right there. That's perfect. And I've got another one here, down here, with tomatoes. I got live plants from Burpee that are in there and pepper plants. So let me open those up and I'll show you what they look like. Okay, in this one, we have pepper plants that we're protecting and they've got peppers on them. Um, those are jalapenos. And these are, sorry. These are the tomato plants that I got from Burpee, live plants. And they looked a little peaked when they got here, not too bad, but they're recovering just fine. And actually one of my little containers came with nothing in it, so they're sending me a new one, which was nice. So I'm gonna get these watered, and I just don't wanna put them in the ground until I get my walls of water up, um, because we could still have a frost and kill everything. So, got to be really careful. 
And my husband and I are going to build some raised beds for these to sit on so we can keep uh, lettuce and uh, things that need to be protected and have it up off the ground so the dogs can't get in there. We don't kennel our dogs, you know, lock them up. And all along here, I've planted beans and beans um, come up on their own. So these green beans I will set up, um, I'll have string going up and down again so they can vine up. And I might even plant some on the other side since we don't have the trumpet vine anymore. So let's go out to the berry patch. Okay, here is, last year I had sunflowers on this side and onions and squash and pumpkin in the middle and sweet potatoes, I believe. This year we've got it all tilled up and our berries, um, these raspberries, right there's the original plant, but you can see I've got shoots coming up all over the place, all the way down here. And so 10 plants multiplied into quite a few. I, I can't even count them all now. Over, uh, over 30. So next year they'll produce berries for us. These, um, obviously the bigger ones will produce this year. I even got berries off of them last year. Oh, look at her jumping in here. Naughty puppy. Anyways, uh, uh, no. So, um, I'm going to leave the berries where they are and I'll transplant. If I need to move some of these smaller shoots, I'll take them out and move them. Um, but along this back, I'm going to put the three triple crown blackberry. And along this edge, because uh, raspberries like support, I'm going to have um, the other raspberries. And hopefully not have to uh, get her in too much trouble along the way. <laughs> I haven't decided what I'm going to put in the middle this year yet. I might just add more tomatoes out here. I don't know. We did till in some really good compost. Um, and the compost that I got has, uh, it's all organic, uh, weed free, and um, turkey manure. Okay, so, and over there are the girls, the chickens. And we have training birds as well. over that fence. A lot of good the fence does, huh? <laughs> okay, so I'm saying um, we're doing pretty good. Let's go over and see these. So here's my little pear tree. Um, it flowered, but then we got some a cold snap right after that, so I don't know if we're going to get anything. Um, this is a gooseberry bush, and it's got uh, little berries forming, so we'll have a few berries. Those are delicious. And this is one of those plants that I bought. This is a blackberry plant. I bought this, and I don't know if it's just going to take, you know, the years before it starts to do anything. It's been in the ground now. This is the third year, and there you go. So I'd rather start with bare root. And over here, this is the only raspberry or berry plant that I really had success with from a plant stock, and it's doing extremely well. Got a bunch of berries and it sent off shoots too this year. So I got to clean up all that dead wood in there. Um, I let them leaf out before I do that. Uh, and then this one uh, is doing quite well. Um, it's even got another one started over there, right there. So there you go. And then our two little uh, honey crisp apple trees are doing well. So, and they have flowered, and so far we haven't got a frost, so we'll hope, hope for the best. I really want apples. All right, guys, I hope it inspires you to enjoy your yard, grow your own food. Um, I'm really focusing this year on tomatoes, green beans, and berries. Um, those are the things that we really need to have an abundance of, and um, we're going to do a lot of winter squash, too. So I'll bring you back when I have my stuff planted and uh, give you an update.